This is Kasoli Brewery, Asia's oldest brewery, which once produced the first ever beer brand of the continent, the Lion Beer. But did you know that this infamous man, Reginald Edward Harry Dyer, better known as General Dyer, the one behind the Janiawala Bagh massacre orders, had a strong connection with this brewery? General Dyer happened to be the son of Edward Dyer, the master brewer, who had set up the Kasoli Brewery in 1855. The story of Kasoli Brewery is not about the dyes alone but it's also about the beginning of brewing in India. So, before we step in to see how this place works seamlessly even today, let's step back a little and check this story out. In the late 18th century India, when a hot climate and lack of refrigeration made local brewing impossible, The East India Company bosses decided to import beer from back home in England. But there was a problem. It meant a sea journey which took at least 6 months around the Cape of Good Hope through rough weather and harsh climates. And when the beer finally arrived, it came flat and undrinkable. But some British brewers soon found a way around it. They were like, raise the alcohol level, up the quantity of hops, and our beer will survive the voyage. And it did. This highly hopped beer style, created especially for the British India, later came to be known as the India Pale Ale or the IPA. Soon, Burton on Trent in England became the main supplier of the IPA, making it a truly global beer. However, the IPA's glorious days were soon about to get over. with the introduction of the industrial refrigeration in the late 19th century enters edward dyer so when edward who was born in calcutta in 1831 asked his elder brother john for business ideas in the 1850s beer was still imported from england and john who lived in missouri advised edward to get into the brewing business as the imported beer was still so costly Soon after Edward set up a brewery in Kasoli, his Lion Beer was an instant smash hit. In the following years, he opened breweries in Solon, Lucknow, Rawalpindi, and also oversaw the production of Muri Beer in Muri, now in Pakistan. It was in Muri that his son Reginald Dyer, nicknamed Rex, was born in 1864. A successful brewer by now, Edward moved to Shimla in 1866, where Rex was later enrolled in the Bishop Cotton School. Before his death in 1902, Edward had sold the breweries to his rival H. G. Makin. After India's independence, Narendra Nath Mohan bought them in 1949, and the company name was changed from Dyer Makin to Mohan Makin. Today, Kasoli Brewery is still functional, but as a distillery, and now. Let's step inside with Colonel G S Tathor, who manages this place. He is going to reveal to us how the Mohan Beacon's famous single malt whisky is prepared here. This is the malt room. This is malt, and this is crushed malt. Here, malt is crushed and sent forward for mashing. Malt is germinated barley, which produces fermentable sugars. This is where the malt is mashed at different temperatures in these big vessels called mash tuns. Mashing of malt produces a sugary liquid called wort. In the next stage, yeast is added to the wort and the fermentation starts. This is how the single malt fermentation looks like. The finished product is called the wash. Next, the alcohol is extracted from the wash through distillation. This is the distillation room. The wash is heated in these pot stills which converts the alcohol into vapors. The vapors are collected and cooled. And there you have it, the original single malt whiskey or the spirit. The spirit is then stored here and then transported to the maturation room in oak barrels. This is the maturation room. The malt spirit in these barrels is stored here to age. Some of the barrels here are as old as 15 years. 
2013. The matured whiskey is transported to the nearby Mohan Mikin Solan Distillery for bottling. The malt spirit which is matured here is used in our brands like Solan Gold Single Malt Whiskey, Solan Number no. One, and Solan Black Full Bodied Malt Whiskey and Black Knight Whiskey. And our globally known product known as Old Malt. It is also blended here in the solid district. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel. And until the next time, keep traveling and keep exploring.